What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of Man Pointed War. Let's play as Great Britain and this is going to be uh, well after doing a bit of uh, market research from you guys and how you guys would rather have my my content um, I'm, just, I'm going to switch it up and start doing in general one hour episodes so I'm giving this a bit of a bit of a trial run at the moment to see if, how it fits in and probably rather than going rather than having four active campaigns on the go we're going to reduce it down to three active campaigns because uh, it would appear you guys don't really watch them all at the same time anyway because it's, it's a bit much and I get that, I really do get that. It's a lot of different content so I think it makes sense to, to slimline it um, somewhat and experiment with longer episodes to kind of make sure the pace of progress is still quite high. Um, but anyway, so this will be an hour special and ongoing for the foreseeable future will be an hour special um, while I'm while I'm trying this out. But anyway, I digress. So right now we are being attacked by the garrison of Petrovskaya, which we were sieging. We may we may go on the offensive because they have mortars and we have relatively we have a pretty good infantry base as well as a good amount of artillery and our cavalry stood in pretty good shape. So I think we're probably going to um, counter attack them. They've got they've got lots of. Uh, good infantry including some good uh, guard units but they won't stand up to us we can destroy this garrison and i'm acutely aware that in this campaign to push against russia we are exposing ourselves a bit in a future war against the ottoman empire but again that's why i do want to try and have uh, control of the Iberian Peninsula so I can work my way across the Med and hit the Ottomans from the west. So let's get some gunners up and out and ready. So let's not do anything clever. Just select my infantry line and have get make them ready to advance. I want to split my cavalry up and advance them aggressively because I want to, I need to look for gaps to try and run through and assassinate their mortar crews. So they're the other side of the town. So then these, this wing. Can push up the left, maybe not quite that far. We can send two to push up towards the town, but these guys, by the look of it, will need to set up a defensive position from all that cavalry that's heading our way. So our artillery is notionally firing at will, but it doesn't have a target. So let's push my cavalry up. This infantry's advancing at speed. You guys are also going to run. Yeah, there we go. There's their artillery in there. Are oh, their howitzers? So we can push our infantry up aggressively, knock out some of these foot guards coming around on the flank. So, got to be very careful with their. Cavalry, the Cossack. Okay, they are Cossacks, so they will do some frustrating damage for my to my cavalry. So what I'm hoping is they're going to chase down my cavalry. So I'm going to run them the other side of this square formation. There we go. Now let's bring my hussars back around to play ball. Let's not forget my left flank because they are advancing up into the belly of the beast. These three units on the flank can push up a bit more still. You men drop into square. Because you might just catch the edge of those dragoons. No, you didn't. So you've got some choices to make. So I wanted to pivot my guns to be more like this. Okay, run my hussars in because we've got a good opportunity here. 
Let's drop this infantry back. Yeah, they're routing chiefly due to how it's a fire. So let's keep my marines in square formation, but that's two cavalry units shattered. It's only the lighter cavalry. The Garda Cheval is still holding on. Let's pivot this unit a bit to help support the right flank. You guys advance up to the gap. No, actually go straight for the mortars, ignore the ignore the guns. You men advance up to the rear of this position. You men and limber. Countercharge the guard of Cheval. Form that unit into square to intercept the unit of dragoons. My cavalry's hit their howitzer force. My marines are still in square. Oh no, they're not in square. Chase down the Garda Cheval. My general's holding strong there. My square is intercept this regiment of dragoons. This infantry is formed up again after routing. You men chase down the artillery. We've got a regiment of cavalry that might be attempting to intercept us, but it will not do so successfully. So now my guns can actually engage real targets. Cavalry force has been broken on the flank. So let's begin pushing. Okay, wait, no, this cavalry force needs to come back. One unit's not enough to cause significant upset there. But our best effort remains this flanking effort so let's take these three units push them up there we go the cavalry have been chased away you men form square so those dragoons have been shattered so let's get our hussars back around the flank same with my general This cavalry storm through the... actually get, come out onto the left flank. But we have had quite a big break here on the left flank, on the right flank, their left. So these second foot guards should not stand for too long. Not being fired upon in the flank by some of our glorious infantry regiments. A good artillery hit against that guard regiment. Glad the 45th came back. No, they, they're they're having um they're trying to shoot at this unit. So that's why they when the uh, when they start doing this firing drill and they don't never actually fire. That's usually why. Let's advance our line. Let's focus pretty much all of our artillery fire on the flank. You try char. Actually, you go after. Actually, you make sure chase down. You chase down the regiment of foot. You guys chase down those guys. You come back and start chasing down some of these more elite regiments. Because the town itself is secure. Okay, you, you intercept the Vibione Strelzi. My general will chase down the 47th Regiment. Oh, there we go. Excellent shot, sir. Let's give... Let's halt the artillery fire. The uh, regiment of foot came back. So let's bring up some troops.
to continue the attack. Let's get all my artillery to focus fire on the that regiment. These hussars can focus on the the 45th because they are nearly dead. Oh, one of the foot guard regiments has also returned. So they're going to be sandwiched in between two units. One up on the hill firing down. One behind them firing into the rear. No! Oh, my general bumped into the uh, to the last remaining infantry unit. That's a shame. Oh well. Okay, let's actually charge them into the back of the 47th just to make sure they do route. Okay, they've routed. So now it's just the second foot guards holding on for for prestige, not wanting to fail. But the 35th should uh, put paid to any uh, any romantic ideas of holding the line. Oh, there they go. They fired their volley, and that was it. Excellent. We're going to continue. Let's halt the artillery fire and speed up time. Just continue to chase them down. There we go. You've done an excellent job there. You continue to chase down the 47th because they are the unit that killed, killed your general. Make sure you chase down Cossack infantry. There's no point going for those Simonyevsky foot guards. So, well, they're all that's left now. <laughs> there we go. But the garrison of Petrovskaya has been neutralized nearly uh, at the cost of a general, but uh, they've only got nearly 600 men remaining. Yep, I've not uh, forgotten about you, Sweden. I am perfectly aware of the threat that you pose, especially now that I own... Um, I, I now own St. Petersburg, and I'll soon own Petrovskaya, so I'll have bottled you in very well. Again, the Russian obsession about sabotaging my farms. Let's crew another general. I don't know... I don't think it makes a difference. So if I, this is Alvin Veer. I don't think picking my... Picking a different unit makes any difference. Oh, Eli Jacob. Six... Uh, four star. So it's not bad. Um, let's... Let's claim the city. Excellent stuff, sir. So... You've recruited a galley. Let's recruit a militia unit to occupy this dockyard. Let's get this ship over to Palmu to occupy this port in being constructed. Let's upgrade this and re oh, make sure you're make sure you are replenished and you are being replenished quite well. This region doesn't have any church schools in it so it is just my priest that's Abraham Hopkins not said Anthony Hopkins but this chap Percival Fortescue I oh know he does need to be in, well he doesn't need to be in Konigsberg they're pretty damn Protestant you're being converted because you have a uh, church school somewhere I may mean, have clicked on it I'm an idiot for some reason I saw a college and it kind of looked like a university okay Corland is being converted. Riga is pretty converted. So let's get over to Riga. And I can move them up towards St. Petersburg. Elsewhere, let's do a bit of economy upgrading. Because we all know how much I love upgrading the economy. Let's upgrade the Rose in Vilnius. That's, and, and Minsk. Maybe not metal roads in these regions yet. Let's upgrade the Governor's Council in Riga. Okay, good. Let's ship this brig over. Keep the port upgrades going. So that's the Bahamas. The Bahamas are ours. Let's upgrade you to Government Council 
You to Sugar Warehouse. I have not forgotten the uh, the uh, Mughal Navy. Maratha Navy, sorry. Sat inside. Well, I just want to... Uh... Oh, yes. No, let's don't build in the Admiral's flagship. Let's build some big ships. The Portugal armies are still expanding. So I don't really want militia, but I guess I'm going to have them. Get two more units of guns, and then that's one army done. Then let's get straight on to recruiting the next force that's going to come in and help mop up. Horace Davis and keep replenishing. Great economic buildings here. I don't want to move Sir William Pepperell yet because these cap chaps can choose to come down either side of this river here. So I don't really want to move. I need to be ready for the war of the Ottomans, but really I need to I just need to crack open this, which isn't going to be plain sailing, not until I get more support out of Lisbon and Tangier fundamentally. Let's upgrade the chapter school. No, let's not upgrade the military military buildings in Tangier. Not yet. Let's get one more unit of field artillery. And that's... whoops. And that's two. Well, one exceptional army under George Wade. And another better army behind it. We could also probably build... Another army in London because unit variety. So let's move the infantry out. Let's also move. Okay, where's it's my home fleet up there? I need to I need to build more dogs body ships. Because I want to move my agents, move my agent to uh, Paris and start to get some eyes on what's going on there. But let's recruit a general, Mark Cochran, and then you can. Ooh, it would have been actually nice to get a general field marshal of the army, but whatever. So we're going to get a one lifeguard, one royal cuirassier guard, which they're like lifeguards but they're armored so the defense goes up from 21 to 25 and they also have pistols but who gives a damn about pistols when you've got heavy cavalry like this and then they can also get a unit of regiment of horse to act as a bit of a i mean they're, sh they're proper fighting cavalry not light cavalry but damn i still like them two units of 24 pounders Cannot build howitzers. 12 pounder howitzers. 12 pounders it is. Then let's recruit some more fusiliers. Good stuff. Then up here in Edinburgh, you can still recruit a good amount of Scottish troops. Highlander independence are done. But I do need to upgrade you to a military academy to get. Oh, Royal Highland Grenadiers, because that would be pretty sweet. Yeah, Nicholas Farkerson sadly fell at Petrovskaya. So I'm going to recruit some infantry. I need to get ready to start to build up St. Petersburg as a bit of a uh, bit of a bulwark against enemy action. Roland Nordell, you spent all that time Square, we're getting ready to square off against the Pueblo Nations, but instead you're actually going to march up to here. Because my my target will be to neutralise the 13 colonies, because you can see they are actually dumping troops-ish on my border, and I've got nothing. So I would like to take them out. Obviously my troops here are 
licking their wounds from battles against the French. And you, good sir, require militia intervention. These two grenadiers need something doing with them. Um, but I think that's going to be it. From a research and technology perspective, things are going rather well. I do need to build a new naval college. But two turns to we get our next technology, which is machine tools. Wow, that was the rake. The rake was brand new. Yeah, I want to get him over to Paris. But we also have this force under Hector Norton. Who's currently besieging Moscow. So how do things look? I mean, to be honest, that's pretty doable. Let's go and capture the Russian capital. Let's take the city. We will not have any, any money to replenish anything. But we will probably get public order under control through demolishing their uh, university. So I think we're going to be okay in the grand scheme. This will be a big blow to the Russians, however, and I'm not going to let them. I'm not going to let them loose either. I'm not going to let the let the Turks gobble up all of their territory. So we are going to have troops supporting well rather than having one large outflanking maneuver we are going to have a much more of a focused effort towards the front of the fort how oh, it's just dropping carcass shot let's try get one of them to drop on the center to see if they can start to do some damage there No, they are within range. That shows you just how far the area of effect is. The shell exploded here. There was nothing, and then just a bunch of death. But this section of the wall has is already nearly collapsed from a previous engagement. But yes, we can march and take the Russian capital. Yeah. <laughs> ah, these chaps. Come on, you guys. One more volley coming in. So folks fire the other breach while my troops advance. Obviously I want these guys to advance to threaten to scale up the wall on the, on the left. These guys I want to advance to threaten scaling the walls on the right. These guys are going to advance. I might even get my howitzers to focus on the men on the walls. No, don't. There we go. You'd hear that sound. We might lose a handful of men due to friendly fire from getting shot in the back. Fortunately, I will include our third very quite veteran foot guard unit so I got my howitzers trying to drop carcass shot on guys up on the wall actually eh, got a few guys in the garrison provincial line some wavering units in the center and they deployed stakes they don't want to advance too quickly with my line because we do still need to actually make a breach I could provide some more gunnery support to help make that happen which, to be honest, probably isn't a bad idea. So they've got grenadiers covering one side of the wall with some firelock armed citizenry. Obviously, they do have units covering the breach itself. But 
but the units they got in reserve are not entirely happy about their situation. A couple of men fell from the ramparts. Like, I'm lucky to be that guy because he fell on his feet and then died. Okay, let's speed up time because right now we are just trying to crack open the city and if we can breach it while the guys are on the wall that will be quite a significant victory for us because that's quite a lot of troops that are now stuck so my howitzers attack my howitzers attack the breaches these units that are on the flanks specifically push up to scale the wall Let's get ready to push infantry units into the breach. So you're going to be guarding that flank, you're going to be guarding that flank. So let's get three units to scale the walls and one unit to hold by the gate. On this flank it's going to be might even just be two. One to scale the wall, one to scale the wall near above the gate, and two to stand ready. These men advance. So we've got some sallying provincial militia on one flank. This infantry, my um, line infantry guards are also going to follow in on the left, left and most breach. I've still got my, my artillery still focusing on the men on the walls. They won't ever destroy it. There we go. My infantry is making their way in. My, my artillery is going to hold fire. They hold fire entirely. My redcoats have stormed the wall. See, one of my infantry units has routed under fierce artillery fire. So these men will take their place and scale the wall. And there we go, we've got the gatehouse, so let's send one unit to go one way, one unit to go another. And the unit to also make his way in. Come on, you men should scale the wall. We run this unit in as well. You charge into the rear of the garrison militia. You men charge on into the militia, guarding the centre. These guys run in just straight as a, as a straight guard of honour. Well, yeah. You tie them up. There you go. The line infantry has been hit while the 64th are charging at the walls. The 52nd have come back. Come on, men. Force a way in. There's only three militiamen there. There we go. The centre is ours. These brave militiamen holding on uh, likely will not last. Kill that last militiaman then. We are more than happily storming the walls here. 
What's the attacking that provincial line? It was nice of them to leave all these units up here to be trapped. Usually the AI is not quite so silly. It's one very, very... <laughs> uh, it's one very uh, well-experienced militiamen. I must accept that. Go charge this the the sixth. They're probably holding on because the there's still a uh, a good chunk of units here that haven't routed yet. But yeah, they are going they are going to fall. And this is the capital of the Russian Empire, the center of their power, now belonging to a foreign power. And this is what happens, Russia, when you declare war on us. Hey, we have eight pikes. Yeah, let's speed up time for the last handful of seconds. Seems taking a few losses from their men on the walls, but it's a worthwhile um, loss to accept because that is Moscow secured. So, like I said, we have no money to make Russia happy, but we can knock down their university and that will make them happy and we can spend whatever money we can on replenishing a handful of our troops but i do need to keep pumping out uh, units here especially our st petersburg to fill in some of these gaps because the russians are going to go on a little raiding spree so let's hit end turn as my spies and priests move up it's unlikely they will make peace with us, and nor would I expect them to. Ah, the French are going to go pick on a poor, lonely, old sloop. Sorry, Dasher. Ha, ah, they didn't get him. Run, Dasher. Run straight home till they... Don't, don't stop until you get there. Although that's... Oh, there's that other ship all the way out. Okay, I've got plenty of ships that I've uh, left. Abandoned is another word for it. Yeah, the Spanish are pouring troops into the Iberian Peninsula, so that's not going to be as easy to take as I would have liked. The Ottomans are marshalling large numbers of troops in Central Europe, and obviously they do hold a lot of the Balkans as well as Italy. So it's not beyond them to uh, declare war on us. Which would be quite... Oh god, that French... That one French fifth rate did, did quite a lot of damage to the Ottomans. That's right. Bring your agents back. I don't know. If Russia declared peace, would I take it? Or asked for peace, would I take it? Hmm. It's an interesting question. But I need to recruit a bucket load of troops out of St. Petersburg. I need to hold St. Petersburg and create... Well, I need to fortify my line against the Ottomans and the Prussians because I can tell what's going to happen. The AI in Empire is nothing if not predictable. Ooh, another agent. I know just what to do with you. So let's get my agent aboard ship in Demerara. Let's get him embarked and shipped over to Europe. So you're in good shape. As are you. New town emerges in Hispaniola. Good. Craft workshop for you, as well as the government chambers. Natural causes. John Locke. No. Natural causes, at least. Okay, let's upgrade this port and let's build a militia to occupy it because it's close Morocco okay first of all Morocco you can be the gathering point for all these lost ships
Ship's orders, Captain. So these men can replenish. You can become a naval hospital. Because we're probably going to turn Sandy Bay into a steam dry dock. And probably knock down this one at Cadiz. Ready and awaiting orders. But... Where are you going? Oh, okay, you're, you're going next Man. door. Fall Good. On. Okay, trading ports... The first stage of trading ports only cost two and a half thousand to upgrade, so they're quite good upgrades to get. As well as keep upgrading our eco economy, our economical backbone. Ooh, we have an agent. John Harrison. Isn't he the guy that invented the famous lesser watch of only fools and horses fame? Rip. John Chalice. Boise. Poor old Boise. Uh, iron workshops, yes. Let's, let's just drop a good chunk of change onto some economy upgrades, but we do want to hop over to St. Petersburg, who will not be able to recruit the finest in in troops. That would be left to Konigsberg. Although you could stand to be upgraded to an army board, I think. Let's start some recruiting here at St. Petersburg, Vilnius. Let's just start to slowly add troops to these <laughs> um, these border towns. You, Cameron Napier, can fall back to Minsk. Your roads are being upgraded. So here at Moscow, so the people don't hate us. We have the Winter Palace, which is lovely. Upgrade all the buildings. Get all of our troops replenishing. Yeah, knock down this seminary. And let's not do too much. Because I want to... Okay, let's get some howitzers here at Petrovskaya. And then build a handful of infantry so that once this army's moved on, Petrovskaya is still occupied. St. Petersburg is upgrading. The roads are upgrading. Let's upgrade the farms here. This dockyard. So the Swedish Navy is chiefly a fifth-rate Navy. Well, I say chiefly. As far as I can see, it's a fifth-rate Navy. So let's get some fourth-rates and let's get a fifth to act as a, a guard ship for this crossing here. To prevent them from well, crossing, I suppose. Let's get this militia over to the dry dock. I would actually quite like to get a get a gentleman further up to the front. I haven't been able to build a fort in any of those places, but I would like to build a fort there. The workers are on strike in Moscow, but now they are not. Next turn, actually I can, no, oh no, next turn I'll be able to recruit um, some infantry to go out to clean up these stragglers, but I would like to try and box in the, the Ottomans where possible. So let's hit end turn. Oh, I forgot to move my armies in uh, the Caribbean. No great, no great problems there. There's still troops going, trundling their way down. Oh god, are they really just gonna... Okay, right. Enemy Spanish... Failed. I was gonna say, they are pushing. Esua de Azara. Sorry, sir, you're going to get destroyed by a British force and sent scuttling back to Paris. Not Paris. Madrid, that's the one. That's the capital of Spain, isn't it? Just have a little bit of coffee. Right. So you've got this absolutely um, kick-ass artillery team in this army. And an absolutely beautiful map to fight on. A, I mean, it is a pretty beautiful map. Maybe not as beautiful as, you know, Troy might be on higher settings. But goddamn, A, that's beautiful. And B, lots of, lots and lots and lots of 
Um, good fields of fire for my gunners. So in the center of my line I'm going to put a couple of units of marines. So I've deployed one set of guns, let's deploy my other set who are going to be absolutely devastating. Then let's divide things up a bit nationally. So on the right flank it's going to be the English and on the left flank it's going to be the Scots. And there we go. Then my howitzer is going to be a mighty gun line behind my front line. Clansmen supporting the Scots naturally. The lifeguards and a regiment of horse are going to help out the English. And some heavy cavalry to help support the Scots there. My field marshal is going to sit proudly in the centre with three chevrons of experience. But let's open up. You may burn powder, gentlemen. So I'm going to stretch my line out a little bit more. So they're all going to be focusing on these gunners here. And they would... I mean, the sound's a bit funky, even though I, I don't have <laughs> regular sound bugs. Spanish bandits pushing in. So keep my cavalry ready. And the lifeguards, they look pretty good and they sound great as well. That's right, gunners. Oh, especially when they're all nearby. Even misses are excellent there. Okay, should be carcass shotting the bejesus out of them. Because they are all well within carcass shot range. But there we go, the Sakers have done their glorious work. So you get these guns to focus on the light horse, get this set of guns to focus on this unit of mercenaries, I suppose. Got some bandits pushing up close, but they're going to be sent packing with oh, artillery shots. have done their work well. It's a lot of first foot guards. They've been annihilated almost. There we go, now they're, they're running because they, they witness and understand the, uh, the danger of standing at range against my gunners. So you focus on the fourth light horse because they're coming right at you. Get my field marshal out on the flank as well. You blast the tercia pikemen because they're coming right for you. Charge the lifeguard, no, not, not my lifeguard, my regiment of horse into the mercenaries. So some engineers are, oh god, that got that for a quick, for more quick climb here, a carcass shot here. Charge straight into them, so my heavy cavalry can stay where they like. Run my regiment of horse away. The Irish regiment are done. Let's advance my left flank up. Let's get my, my field marshal in to kill that unit there. They're starting to try and rebalance, but it's not going to work. Get some artillery or how it's just to focus on some of these units on the flank because they're a bit not as weak as I'd like them to be. Field Marshal, chase them down. Heavy cavalry, get ready to try and take on these engineers. Oh, and this Highlander warband. Eh. Stand there and fire. Um,
Okay, I didn't mean them to quite so easily trundle into the enemy there, but... You, can, you guys fight, fight the general's bodyguard, you guys smash into the marines. Let's make sure all our artillery are actually firing on different units. The bandoleros weren't our original target, but I'll take it. So this is a... I mean, I know my I've, I've got my clansmen in the action as well. But this is a huge route. So let's make sure we are chasing down the appropriate units. Make sure you do try and kill the general's bodyguard. I'm sure I retargeted you, the howitzers, but alright. Maybe I didn't. To be honest, you are all going to fire round shot. Chase down the marines. You try kill their general. All of their gun teams focus on these light horse to the rear. I mean, pff, yeah, they've just collapsed. This is what happens. We have got an absolutely top quality army here. And this isn't even me going, oh, ho, ho, ho. Aren't British people, aren't British troops superior to Spanish troops? Not even that. We do have just a tremendously successful army full of very experienced, very elite troops. So many that it's actually, rather than watching the battle unfold, it's just a lot more worthwhile chasing my cavalry around. So let's stop my artillery from firing. You should really focus on the Swiss Guards. Let's get you involved. You go after some Swiss line. You go after Fusiliers. You're still going after the Irish Regiment. So let's, tr let's try and let you, or get you to kill off the Irish regiment first while I... Oh, such a massive rout. So many, so many troops. There we go. Just, just keep on killing, because they're just there's so many men to kill. Oh, I've still got a howitzer that's firing. Now you take out those sakers and then you can go chase off those gorillas. Okay, you go after Tercio Pikeman. Keep on chasing him down. I mean, I think he's a bit... Okay, he's dead. You go chase down the mercenaries. Okay, those guys have attacked everyone they can. But I think they're going to lose. The Spanish Empire would have lost. I mean, granted, a lot of their troops did flee successfully. But I think this army is going to be pretty decimated. Come on. Even then, isn't decimated only something like it's reduced by a tenth rather than reduced to a tenth? So even then, it's not as good as everyone thinks. Yeah, there we go. This is the last unit on the field and they're about to escape. These are regulars. Damn right it's a heroic victory. And him, this unit being a... I'm pretty sure he's a field marshal. Um, it does mean that he's getting uh, yeah, Field Marshal of Europe, which means the morale bonuses are huge. But yeah, look at my cavalry. Just bam, bam, bam. My Field Marshal didn't even get... <laughs> didn't even get a lot of kills, but and they didn't even... Oh, he didn't even level up. But yeah, I suppose he is still 
uh, experience level three. Back you go, you devils. <laughs> yeah, I really don't like how the Prussians are <laughs> gathering so many troops in one area. This is the Central Powers all over again. Yeah, every turn I need to be slowly expanding my the garrison of those frontier towns. Especially with units like Marines. Units that can withstand um, assaults really well. And then I also need to keep building up my naval uh, capacity in the in the Baltic to be able to fight off potential Swedish attacks. Good stuff. See so you men advance. Don't push up to Salamanca because that one will draw in this force, which we don't want to yet. New town emerges, lots of brand new towns, which is lovely. So almost universally it's going to be craft workshops to help build up that tax base ready for a full-on war economy footing. El Paso. Yeah, let's not forget Santa Fe back here. New port emerges in New Granada. Let's record, build a sloop. Grid you to commercial basin. Let's do... Again, I do really want to try and balance my um, military uh, military spending with economic spending because I, I really don't want to have to uh, disband troops. Okay, let's get these. Okay, so that Navy Sans sloop is... Well, it's more than enough to knock out that that, that fleet in, in due course. Uh, hmm... Yeah, you're getting into position. Well, they might be, might just get right up in their face. Tech advance, machine tools, which is excellent. Ooh, I think I do slowly want to start upgrading my British ports, if none others, at least at the start. Okay, so you're actually pretty good. So I might get get two howitzers for Konigsberg. Vilnius can get I can get one more unit of grenadiers. Get okay, a unit of guards there. Obviously you're okay. Hey, there we go. Build a fort. Ah, my agent was executed in Madrid. Loads of really good upgrades. Did I not already have a? I'm sure. I'm sure I had a, a general over there, but he is. He died for some reason. Hmm. You can now march out towards Archangelsk, start to clear up some of the Russian positions behind the line. Konigsberg built a military academy. Start to build some guns and tack on some marines as well. Then in uh, Moscow itself. Very well. If you want to recruit, I don't know, it wasn't them I was thinking of. But I do want to go and 
clear out some of these Russian swines. I suppose is that where. So if you guys left. I'd have to outsource my recruitment to bolster Minsk from somewhere else. But yeah, I really don't like this. Artillery in London, Caribbean recruitment, I've seen far, um, Baltic recruitment, as well as shipbuilding. Hmm. Hop back up to London. So you're getting fusiliers. Let's get one more unit of fusiliers. And we've now got Andrew Hardy, although I would like your militia to not be a part of this army, especially when I've already got Native African infantry, which isn't the best. You're researching carbines, which obviously I really don't like. But let's hit end turn one more time. Can I be of service? Need, to get, need to ship that gentleman over to England, as well as ship my agent across to Paris. But yeah, that army in England, when it's finished, needs to be sent to Portugal. Because I think I do... Or, no. I was about to say, do they attack Paris? But no, I think the, op the, the good option, the smart option, is to... Um, support my position in the Iberian Peninsula. I mean, I'm just ple pleased Denmark's held on for as long as they have. That's really helping weaken um, Sweden from my perspective and stopping them from being as belligerent of a power as they could be i mean they're currently allied with me but i don't i really don't trust alliances in these games in any total war game there is no such thing as a true ally so i've lost a bunch of income so this agent's going to go down to ankara Because the Ottoman Empire Empire's port got raided. Capering loon. Okay, so. To be honest, I should also just be raiding in the channel a lot more than I currently am. Infantry Paris. Paris is currently unguarded. I could feasibly just wander in and take it, but. I don't really want to, not with France right on my doorstep and also being at war with them. Lord. Forward. Forward. So you get two more fusiliers. Get some 24 pounders, that's four units. You've got two spare slots. So let's get two Royal British Grenadier Guards. Good stuff. Fleet arrives. Another spy. Good. Right when one's dead, we got another one. Ready and waiting. As you wish. <laughs> am I gonna yes. about to commandeer a bunch of elite infantry? I think I am. By the left, sir. Let's move these militia. Out. To be honest, I'm, I, well, I'm going to keep them nearby. I'm going to recruit another Marine and two Line Infantry Guards to replace the ones I've just stolen. And let's drop in two sets of artillery there. I do need to upgrade one of my naval buildings at least. You can raid Salamanca. And hold ground on this high high ground here. And the galleon, go over to the Bay of Biscay. Yeah, raid that. Okay, your army's 
probably good enough to withstand a siege. Yours could do with a bit of support. Maybe one gun team to cover a breach. Let's upgrade these two ports. We've also got our, On our way gentlemen to ship over. Ship over to Blighty as well as build the military academy in Scotland. Ready and waiting. Without delay. Huh. We could probably stand to upgrade the Ordnance Factory and the Opera House as well to ensure that um, Edinburgh is recruiting or is capable of rec recruiting some really kick ass troops too. Let's take the risk and start recruiting the last of my Scottish infantry. Well, not the complete last of my Scottish infantry. I can get more. Um, at some point, this invasion has to happen. It just does. I think we've got two armies coming in from the south and two crossing over. I wonder if I can just go... Not within range like last time, but stay closer... So I'm able to provide some level of support. I think that would be a good idea. You just go, don't march around this guy, just go straight into him. It's only one regiment of foot. Did it 482 kills, but whatever. You men replenish and push on to Archangelsk. So these men said start to build up a bit of a raiding force to go clear out this unit and this unit. To be honest, Moscow could stand to do that as well, actually. So you guys might focus on slowly building up a bit of a garrison for this fort, which I do want to upgrade to an artillery fort. St. Petersburg. Recruitment still goes well. I think it's now down to Moscow to get some troops together to clear out these rear areas because I do want to take um, Ust, Kazan, Ufa. I pretty much just want to take the Russians out so I can try and create as big as much of a front line with the Ottomans as I can before we declare war. I think that would be a good idea. And then I'm probably just going to... I mean... Yeah, let's just auto that, because it's an utterly one-sided battle. You men get back to port and replenish. This sloop, the Inflexible, can get to Grand Bahama. You men, disemb you men embark, I should say, and you'll probably actually land in South Georgia, ready to take Charleston. You build a sloop. Let's take one of our ships out of port here. So this force here in Martinique. You men embark. So we can say our sloop up to Boston. Ready to hit Albany and bring them into the fold. There we go. So then this force... So they just wander up to the border. Let's actually get some... Get some upgrades in Boston. Ready for them to try and provide some troops for the global theatres that we're going to be fighting in. But looking at the timer, I think that's time to end it. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for my Great Britain campaign. Because things seem to be progressing rather well. So, thanks everyone.